My friends, in a few days, the church will ask us to enter into the discipline of Lent. Forty days devoted to fasting, prayer, and almsgiving. To prepare our minds and our hearts to receive the great gift of the Easter Triduum and the Lord's death and resurrection. Ash Wednesday itself helps us to recall the fact that we are made of dust. Unto dust we shall return. That we in our mortal life will have a day of reckoning before the Lord. A day that will be merciful, yet nonetheless will ask us to account of the gifts and talents he has given us and how we have used them. To ask us to examine in that moment how we have been good stewards of the life that God gave us to become instruments of his love in the world. And if we have sinned, whether we have sought his mercy and forgiveness and started again. For many of us, we need to start again and again and again. Lent is that time for us to recalibrate our spiritual compass. It's a time for us to recall what we should be doing every day of the year, putting Christ at the center of our life. And by prayer, by almsgiving to the poor and those in need, by fasting, denying ourselves perhaps some food or some good, they are all different ways of doing one basic task, is to place Christ at the center of our lives and to allow him to lead us forth. So in effect, it's entering into the desert as he entered into the desert. And by entering into the desert, manifested the centrality of God the Father for Jesus. I invite you this Lent to consciously and deliberately use this time in your life as I will try in my own life to put Christ at the center of our journey, to put Christ at the center of our lives. And I ask you to make a choice about how will you pray in a different way or devote more, more time to prayer? How will you observe the discipline of fasting that the Lord has asked us all to do? And what concrete way can you and I be more charitable to those around us in almsgiving? May this Lent be a time of renewal as we enter into this desert with Christ, so that when we come out the other end in Easter joy, we will be renewed in mind, body, and spirit, and will be more joyful messengers of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. May God bless you.